Hello everybody, my name's Trevor and I'm the vicar from St Mary's at Lowton. Today I want to talk to you about some of my experiences before I came to Lowton. My job before this was in uh, Latchford in Warrington, where I was assistant priest at um, Christ Church. But while I was there, it also meant that I could do some work as the chaplain at uh, Sir Thomas Boatler Church of England High School. While I was there, I met uh, a young man called Will. He started in year seven. And um, when he arrived in year seven, he chose to start having saxophone lessons. And in Warrington Borough Council, they lent him a saxophone. And it was a saxophone a bit like this one. I want to say a bit like this one. Those of you who know anything about saxophones might recognize it as a, an E flat alto saxophone. And that's what they lent him. So he had his lessons and an instrument to play. Well, of course, everything went really well. That is until he got to year 11. Because in year 11, when he was really quite good at the saxophone, he had to give it back because it was only on a loan basis. And of course, he was quite upset about that, really. But he knew it had to happen. When he gave it back, his peripatetic tutor said to him, you know, not long ago, I was looking around in the music storeroom and I found in a corner an old saxophone. He said it needs a bit of work doing on it, but the head of music has said, you can have that saxophone. He then went into the storeroom and produced uh, the one from the corner. Well, Will's heart fell because first of all, it was in a very battered old case. And when the case was opened, all the lining was ripped. And not only was it ripped, when the saxophone came out, there were holes in the saxophone where the uh, key covers were missing. Some of the key covers were bent back. All the pads were missing from under the covers. And there were lots and lots of major dents in that saxophone. And uh, his peripatetic teacher said to him, I know it looks bad, but you can take it to a workshop in Manchester. There's a fabulous saxophone repairman there and he'll do wonders with it. Well, Will took it home, showed his dad, and the very next Saturday they set off on the train to Oxford Road Station. And um, they got off the train, found the entrance to the shop, went up sets of steps, down dark corridors, and eventually ended up in a room where there was a man mending saxophones. They gave him the case, he opened the case, he didn't make any response whatsoever. He uh, looked back at them and just said, Come back in a month. So one month later, they went back. When they arrived, he held out a saxophone. and said, just have a look at this saxophone. And this saxophone was absolutely amazing. It was beautiful. It was perfect. It was very, very lovely indeed. And Will said to him, that's a great saxophone. And he said, what, what about mine? And Johnny said, this is your saxophone. It was utterly amazing what he'd done. And not only that, there was a new case which was lined with blue velvet. The saxophone was perfect. There were no uncovered holes on it. There were no dents in it. There were no bends in the keys. All the, all the pads were in place. It was perfect. In fact, so good that Will and his dad could barely believe what had happened. Now, the reason I tell you that story, there's a lovely passage in the book of Ephesians where Paul says to me and you, we are his workmanship. That's a lovely word. We are his workmanship. The Lord is a workman, just like Johnny Roadhouse, the man who fixed that saxophone. And no matter how bent, how misshapen, how wrong everything looks, how much of a history we have, God is the perfect workman. And you know, one lovely thing is this. When it says workmanship there, the Greek word is poema. And you might recognise that's the root word for the English word poem. And not only are we a fabulous piece of workmanship, but we are God's song to all those around us. Made perfect, not by our own efforts, but by his craftsmanship. Thank you.